Hi guys, it's Bags and President Ross, and today we have a new election update map. Starting with Washington, with 12 electoral votes, it's blue for Kamala Harris. Oregon, with 8 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. Gotta love giving those criminals needles and the cocaine that they need legally. California, with 54 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. Turning red is Alaska with three electoral votes for Donald J. Trump. Montana with four electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Idaho with four electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Wyoming with three electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Nevada with six electoral votes is a toss-up still. It's going back and forth. It will not be colored in. Either candidate could win. Utah with Mitt Romney. The Latter-day Saints weirdo, six electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Arizona, with 11 electoral votes, is once again gray. So either candidate could win Arizona, Donald Trump or Kamala Harris. Going to North Dakota, with three electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. South Dakota, with three electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Nebraska, with four electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Red for its uh, first district, and then the second district, the tiniest one, is blue. Both districts supposedly hold one electoral vote a piece. Colorado, with 10 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. New Mexico, with five electoral votes, is light blue for Kamala Harris. But we know that she's going to win that most likely, like Joe Biden did in the past. Texas, with 40 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Kansas, with 6 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Oklahoma, with 7 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Minnesota, don't you know, uh, with 10 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. Iowa, with 6 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Missouri, with 10 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Arkansas, with 6 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Louisiana, with 8 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Wisconsin, with 10 electoral votes, is a toss-up, but it's probably going to lean blue, but we're going to keep it gray. It will not be filled in. Michigan, with 15 electoral votes, is a toss-up. Once more, these flip-flop between blue and and toss-up states, so it will not be colored in. Illinois, with its 19 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. Get ready for the red wave coming up soon. Red, Indiana, 11 electoral votes. Donald J. Trump, Ohio, 17 electoral votes. Red, Kentucky, 8 electoral votes. Red for Donald J. Trump. Tennessee, 11 electoral votes. Red for Donald J. Trump. Mississippi, M-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-P-P-I -S 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 -I with six electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump, and they say Republicans can't spell. Alabama with nine electoral votes is red. Florida, not Florida, Florida with 30 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Georgia with 16 electoral votes is gray. It's a toss-up once again. It leans heavily for Kamala, but it might be able to flip for Donald Trump. It just depends. Will not be filled in. South Carolina with nine electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. North Carolina is once again a toss-up. It leans more red this year, but some polls have indicated that it might flip blue. It will not be colored in. Virginia with 13 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. West Virginia, mountain mama, take me home, <laughs> country road. With four electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Pennsylvania, with 19 electoral votes, is still a toss-up. It's flipped light blue for Kamala. It's flipped light red for Donald J. Trump. It will not be colored in. New York, with 28 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. And Maine is flip-flopping once again with two electoral votes to Kamala Harris. As for the rest of these districts, such as New Jersey, Delaware, Maryland, the City District of Washington, D.C., Connecticut, Rhode Island, Massachusetts, Philadelphia, 
in uh, New Hampshire are all blue for Kamala Harris. Let's go, Kamala. Let's go, Tim Waltz. Woohoo! Yeah! Come on, blew that map up. <laughs> Heck yeah. And the website that we used today, since we're called Heavily Biased by People, is RealClearPolls.com. RealClearPolls.com. We are pulling these from different websites. The ABC.com news website has a map up. The RealClearPolls.com has their own map. And 270towin.com. And Rosamond, he has his own maps as well. We're pulling it from all these websites and doing the average. There are still 104 toss-up electoral votes. And I forgot Hawaii with four electoral votes on the bottom left goes to Kamala. That therefore puts her at 222. If you believe in numerology, it's in sync. Your life is in sync when you see repeating twos. And Donald J. Trump at 216. In order to win the election, Donald Trump would need... Um, Wisconsin, Michigan, Pennsylvania, North Carolina, or Georgia, or he would also need Arizona and Nevada as well. Arizona, Wisconsin, Michigan, Pennsylvania, North Carolina, and Georgia to put him right there where he needs to be. As for Kamala, she would need Michigan, Pennsylvania, North Carolina, Georgia, and Wisconsin in order to put her where she needs to be. Who do we want to win? It truly doesn't matter. But who do you want to win, baby? Trump. She said Donald J. Trump. And let's just say, I'm President Ross. And I'm back. And we are out. electorally voted out. 2024! 2024! Woohoo! Like, share, subscribe, and check out KK's Innovative Perspectives for many innovative perspectives on YouTube. Here we go.